Thank you to the Moving the Needle corporate sponsors, Home Infusion Options and Metro Infusion Center, and our exhibitors, Takeda, Janssen, and Bristol Myers Squibb. You share our mission of advancing patient care and make events like this and our grant making possible. Our last speaker is Dr. Cambrian Liu, who is a research assistant professor in our GI section. And he's doing some very cool work with stem cells in the context of healing uh, inflammatory bowel diseases. Thank you, Jean. Good evening, everyone. My project that's funded by the GI Research Foundation involves investigating whether or not regenerative medicine can be a source of new therapies for inflammatory bowel disease, or IBD. In recent years, we've made a lot of progress in understanding the immune system and its role in IBD. But despite many new medications, many of our patients are still left behind. My project looks at this from a different angle. In the slide above, you see pictures of what your GI doctor might see when they're doing a colonoscopy. In patients with ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease, the inner lining of the intestine is filled with wounds and erosions that simply will not heal. We believe that by directly stimulating the wound healing process, we can actually achieve long-term therapeutic gains in these patients. Now to get this wound healing started, we are leveraging the power of stem cells. You might know stem cells as these powerful cells that can generate our entire body plans beginning in fetal development. But what many people don't know is that stem cells are also present in almost all of our adult organs where they help maintain their turnover and help them replenish after daily insults. We think that defective stem cells might lie at the base of IBD. And consequently, by correcting their defects, we can actually help them regenerate the intestine. I'm very proud of the recent success we've had in our project that's been funded by the GI Research Foundation. In particular, we've shown that you can isolate stem cells from the skin near the anus. You can grow them, as Dr. Weber mentioned, as three-dimensional structures called organoids outside of the body. And in fact, you can take these stem cells and re-implant them into a mouse that has inflammatory bowel disease. And these stem cells will hone to the site of injury and they will proliferate and heal that wound. Now you might be asking, why skin stem cells and not intestinal stem cells? Well, a simple reason might be that skin stem cells are more resistant to intestinal inflammation. So there's potential here as a cure. There's a lot of work that we have to do and the continued support of the GI Research Foundation and the new initiative towards regenerative medicine will be critical towards moving these basic laboratory studies into patients in the clinic. We have a lot of important questions we have to answer. For example, can we get these skin stem cells from other sites of the body that are more accessible than the anus? And can we tailor them to meet a patient's medical history or their genetic profile? so that we can offer these therapies to the patients who need them the most. Thank you for your continuing support.